Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again and let us now start the setup for AWS free tire. So in case of AWS free tire setup, you can go to Google and start typing in AWS free tier free tire setup. Once you type in this, then you will be able to get to first link itself and just have a look at my screen. Click on this particular link and the new window will get open where we have written AWS free tire and here you have to click create a free account. Once you click on create a free account, then it will navigate to a new window. In this particular new window, you have to sign up or create a new account. So let's start. Here what you have to do, you have to start typing your user email address. This user email address will be your root address. And then you have to write the account name. Account name you can write anything. For example, you can write your own name or you can write your organization's name. Now root is one type of user and later on you can create multiple users through a facility called as IAM that is identity and access management. So here I am creating my user. This is a new user I am creating. I am typing the email address. It is blurred. You can type your own email address over here. And here I am giving name to my account. Now let me click on verify. After clicking on verify, it is going to send me a code. And this particular code I will copy from my email and then I will paste it back onto the window where the verification is required. I have clicked on it and now it is asking me to set up the root user password. I need to enter it for two times and I need to follow the rules. So follow the rules. Have uppercase, have a number, have a lowercase and have some special character. Once you create your account, then you will be able to successfully log in into the AWS free tier account. So let us complete this password process and click on continue. Now it will come up with a new window. In this particular new window, you will have to type how do you plan to use AWS. So you can write personal or you can write business as of whatever is right for you. Then again write the full name. So normally you are using it for personal then you can basically work on uh, you can just write personal name and you can write the number and after that you can select the company you can type in the address so these details are one time required you need to fill them so let us basically type the number and then we will go and select the country as India and uh, this is India selected then type in the address so once the address city state and postal code is filled you also have to click on I have read and agree to the terms and conditions or terms of the AWS configure uh, customer agreement you have to click on it and then continue so now this part is also done now it is the billing process you can do billing with the help of a credit card or a debit card so anyone you can you make use of it is free tier so it is not going to directly deduct some amount from your card it is going to intimate you but remember, as this is Amazon's policy, so you should always read the policy first and then go for it. Otherwise, it may happen that you use some of the services which are not coming under free tier and you are actually charged for it. You will be charged for it. Just have a look that whether it is automatically, you know, deducting the amount or it is sending the bill and then you need to pay. So as per current scenario, they will send a bill if by any chance you are making use of any such service and then you need to pay afterwards directly they don't debit let me enter my card details over here so card number is the first one then we have the expiration date then CVV and then the card holders card holders name so let us put the details here patiently so this is a free tier you you are going to get a lot of free services over here all of these things are hidden just for security purpose. So what you can do is you can type in the correct details of your card and it is almost done. Use my contact details, contact address. You can tick on this particular option if any other is selected and then you can basically click on uh, do you have uh, a PAN number? So you can click yes and then 
type in your PAN number over here and then you can verify and continue you can click on this particular button which is verify and continue so it is almost done okay now I'm clicking on verify so it is verifying and it is going to come up to a new window let me let me put the password over here it will be verifying the transaction and uh, yes so I have the OTP with me and I'm entering the OTP over here okay so once the OTP is done I need to click on submit and then it is going to configure the payment details as well so here you can see it is moving on to the next screen and it is setting up the payment details as well setting up the free tier for us and we will come to a place where we are going to get into yes the free tier access so here we go now it is again asking for billing okay confirm your identity so now for confirming your identity let us basically again put the country as India let's put the mobile number so it is just checking whether you are a real person or not sometimes bots are there so everything is going well let us put the captcha over here and it's BY2ZS3 yes S and uh, then 3 okay so let us put the details and uh, let us move ahead now here you can see verification code so put the verification code over here and continue and after that now you can see it is uh, again asking us for confirm your identity so primary purpose of the account you can click on personal use and then you can use here whatever is best for you so as an individual I'm writing which is best so let's go ahead so here you are getting some options so I'm going for the free one let me click on the free one only it is already selected and complete sign up part so it is going to get installed this particular way or set up this particular way so you can see that it is very easy the only thing is there are certain steps which you need to follow step by step so go to my AWS management console so let us explore the console personalize your experience welcome to Amazon web services so here we are going to get into or login into the dashboard and uh, I'll be putting the root user here we may have many users as I said but they are managed by the root user you have to log in and IM facility manages all the users let me put the password over here and enter and now we are heading towards uh, security check let me put the security check over here okay so let me put it okay let me put the password and then sign in okay yeah so again verification so you can see that it is uh, for the first time because we are doing it so so much of verifications next time it is not going to ask you any verification at all it will directly help you to log in okay so this time you need to bear with so many uh, so much of verifications and here you can see this is the screen this is the dashboard it is still getting loaded and uh, you can take a tour of it that uh, where exactly what thing is available and uh, yes so this is a blank and fresh dashboard which we have for AWS and it is called as AWS console and you can click here on the services you can find all the major services over here these are the major services so it has got uh, so many services today and under each of them if you see that there are uh, under each of them you can see there are subcategories so these are the service categories and then we have the subcategories and subcategories you can use but when you are using the subcategories just remember you are able to select the free tier okay don't go for anything which is not free so i hope you will be able to set up in easy and smooth manner see you in the upcoming sessions thank you